Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Joy Toy, the Risen, uh, Rego time, Rego review time. Uh, one of the most anticipated recent releases, purely because he's part cyborg, you can see. Huh? Part of his chest, his arms, looks really good. Comes with a great big sword, he comes with... Um, like a weapons crate, he comes with the jetpack wings, gun, blah, blah, blah. Looks really fantastic. Let me quickly slip this cellophane. We can have a look through the box and then I will change camera and we will do a uh, review. Now I have lost, skillfully lost, my uh, holder for my phone. So, but I've managed to find a solution for when I turn it around the way so you can still see nicely. And I've gone for a nice cardboard brown background, literally cardboard. Uh, so hopefully you can get a better look at the figure. Because some people gave me some feedback. Oh, that looks nice. Some people gave me some feedback in on my channel. Hey, change the background. Okay, so some glare, but he looks really, really nice. Okay, so let me get my phone set up for the other direction. And let's look at this bad boy and see what he is like. So back in an instant. So here he is. I haven't looked in the crate yet, but you can hear there's things inside. Let's uh, have a look. So he has his helmet, he has his sidearm, there's some binoculars, there is another gun, and there is three hands or four? It looks like three hands. These binoculars are really nice. So that's really cool. Uh, helmet is a, actually a head, it doesn't go over his head looks nice again let's actually have a look at him I'll bring him closer let's see if we can focus 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 let me see if I can turn the light off if it will focus better let's have a look mm. probably the best we get it Looks just, I love the effect on that sort of a pec stroke and the ribs there underneath looks really, really good. The arms look great. Um, these are they the same or different? Oh, no, they've got to be different arms to these cyborg soldiers. I put cyborg soldiers up the here somewhere. Boop, 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 boop. You're gonna see that review there, like generation one, 118 scale joy toy or generation 1.5. Really quite nice, slightly smaller than their later uh, 118 scales but really pretty cool but yeah he does look fantastic I have to say um, the only funny thing is why they have the sort of red blood around the openings that's like he's a fresh wound you know but <laughs> as opposed to he's ready to go now he's always like that uh, face sculpt is pretty good can we get a better zoom in on that or a better focus let's try there we go. Face sculpt is pretty damn good. Has to be said. Get much more, a much clearer look at the detail. Other, other. Focused it better. Very, very nice looking figure. I think he's absolutely awesome. Uh, will we get a better look with the light on? Let's have a look and see. Oops, let me see, where's my light? Uh -huh. Okay. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, so his vest is separate. It's a gold color, looks nice, quite loose. And again, it's this really nice buckle system they've got on their vest, which is so easy to put on and take off. You know, I love acid rainbow, but their vests are a nightmare. Actually, quite easy to take off and put them back on again. They make them clip. It's like, oh, really difficult. Georgia are the best at that at the moment. I'm hoping this will be the same. The last few have been like a joy, 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 joy uh, to do. Nice looking vest, bendy, but it's got a nice sort of gold metal effect. And you got the uh, sort of shading lines there, just not really in this one on the left. Right, you can see the ink, but not on this one here. And um, back's got the hole for his uh, 
for his jetpack wings, his flying cavalry wings, and that is quite tight, and it doesn't really stick through to go into his back, but there's no hole anyway, so that's for the best. Uh, so the jetpack wings look good, says so caution, good details all round. That's nice. Not sure why there's grooves there. It'd be nice to have some sort of guns we could. And the front there should be something. It just looks a bit too plain, you know. It'd be nice to have those. Um, if I grab one of my uh, manhunter frogs, if these sort of things here were inside there. That would look a lot nicer. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Sword. Very, very sci-fi. You could use it for fantasy, but it's like very sci-fi. Looks nice. Strange that they've got the paint in the circle middle there, but not on this side. Uh, Size-wise, you can see that the sword, if you look from the uh, the guard, is about this far length from the handles, almost up to his shoulders, just up to his chest height. So let's have a proper look inside here. So we have his... His helmeted head here looks nice. His other or his gun looks his main gun looks pretty cool, but again, no jeweled barrel. Uh his sidearm. Yeah, I'm not so keen on that because I don't like these little bars across the bottom. I think I think they make it difficult for uh, the figures to hold. The binoculars I mentioned earlier do look really quite nice, except they'd be nicer there with some sort of a detail on the lenses there. And there, and then he comes with a uh, part cyborg right hand, which is a fist, part cyborg left hand, which is open, maybe a bit loose for a gun, and then he's got a right hand uh, gripping, which would be good for the gun or the sword. And the hands he comes with look like both gun hands, almost identical, not quite. Um, let's have a look at his articulation, and then. We'll tool him up, so left, right, up, down, small side to side. Shoulders go all the way around on both sides, it should be. Well, that one is a bit stiff. I am want to be a bit, there we go, a bit more care, cautious in that one. Uh, out to the side, he gets over 90 on both, just about. Biceps, this will be interesting. I'm not expecting great things here. However, looking at that, where the joints are, he should get over 90. Just about, yeah, he gets a 90 almost exactly on his uh, left. And he gets a touch, a fraction over on his right. Uh, hands is their system of ball joint and joint. I actually prefer to have gun articulation on his right and wave on his left. But he's got that ball joint and joint. I'd rather just a ball joint, if I'm honest. Um, trunk, not a great deal of movement before he comes apart. Waist is quite stiff, and he also has a tilt and turn on his waist. The belt part can come off, is a bit high at the moment. Um, legs. Outwards is not the best, but it's all right. These five pieces do come off. Backwards is all right, pretty good. Forwards is nice, it's 90 degrees. There's a thigh twist, double knee bend, but bear in mind with this equipment on. In fact, he still gets pretty damn tight considering. Uh, is there a boot turn? Oh, Joy Toy, there's no boot turn, no! No boot turn. He does get a nice tippy toe. His dorsiflexation, you have to push the boot behind, and it's yeah, not great. He can twist his feet inwards, um, outwards, there's a little twist, and then he's got toe articulation, which is pretty damn good on both sides. Not sure why he's got yellow paint on his foot there. Is that a factory issue? It's not from my, from my table. Um, he does look good. 
Okay, how does he hold his sword? He used the hand he comes preset with. And he can hold that really quite well. Um, he sh let me see if he can hold it two-handed with his articulation. Be a bit more difficult. This would be a lot easier for an acid rain rolled figure because they've got better bicep articulation and they've got the shoulder roll now. And you can do it two handed too. Pretty cool. Let's have a quick head swap. See the barbell stand the neck. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit stiff. Looks good too. I wonder any people gonna actually have them with the vest on. I know you want to see that part, you know, with the vest on you're gonna you're obviously gonna not gonna get that. Um this belt might have to come off if his vest goes on unless I can stretch it down over his waist because it's gonna get in the way. You, you but it looks like it will. Alright, so let me see. Yeah, see that vest part there is sort of in can it come up this way? Yeah, we can. There. It just feels like his upper body by his lats, his lat muscles here should be slightly smaller so it's easy to pop his uh, upper body on and also get a bigger range of movement. So let's put this through there and it's how easy these clips are should be just a simple push so easy look at that and the other side I think the problem with the acid rain is they make it so exact so tight that is really quite hard so this one I got a bit of a struggle but maybe it could be the paint that's on it but one's in very easily and that hopefully will be enough if I grab something like a pen, I could push that through. Um, I feel like I've got a paintbrush here. Would this be it? too big, maybe? Yeah, a bit too big. Never mind. One side is in, nice and tight. Let's get, put his uh, flying helmet on, as it were. Stick his wings back in his back. I need to balance them forwards a little bit. And he does look particularly good. Okay, let's see how he holds his uh, assault rifle. Should hold his very nicely. Look at that. Fantastic. And if I'm going for two handed, let's put it like in there. Oh. Very, very nice indeed. He is a fantastic looking figure. Now he has a holster on the side, so you could put his uh, pistol there. Let's say he holds the pistol, should be okay, but when he got bars across the bottom, it really sort of winds me up. But yeah, he holds that really, really well. Very, very nice. And the binoculars, I won't pose him with, but let's pose him with his... Uh, Sword, not really the best art, the hand for it, but I'm going to change the hands over just for this uh, pose. And the wings go, everything's coming out. Right, let's try again. Yeah, man. Almost there. So close, yet so far. But you get the idea. Uh, I can do it if I take a bit more time and work on that. Posture, maybe if I put his onto his toes there. He would get it.
He is a fantastic looking figure. It does have to be said. Very, very nice. Lots of details. Okay, one thing more I will do, just quickly have a comparison with another Joy Toy figure. I'm going to use the female Wasteland who I've got on my desk because I've got on my desk. She's just very close by. Get an idea. He does look a bit on the tall side, but maybe that's just an illusion. And yeah, he's scales perfectly. Well, he's a touch taller, but nothing that means they can't work together in the same universe, which obviously they are, they are in. So he does look good. This is a fantastic figure. I highly recommend it. I think Joy Toy's done a stunning job on this. You've got loads of great stuff. You've got the spare hands, three. You've got the belt. You've got the gun, the gun. You've got the wings, the sword, the vest, and the alternate uh, flight or helmeted head. Great job by Joy Toy. This is Awesome Action Toys signing out. Saying please like, share, subscribe, click on the notification icon to stay up to date latest uh, videos, reviews, news, blah, 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 etc. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.